If you're prepping for the Imaging Informatics exam, stop what you're doing and listen up. Effective this year, the ABII test content outline has changed, and it's crucial that you're up to speed. If you're studying based on the old outline, you might be missing out on some key updates that could impact your score. But don't worry, we've got you covered. Hey guys, it's Allie with PaxBootCamp.com. In this video, we're going to dive into the most important changes that have taken effect since March 2024. We're not just talking about minor tweaks. We're talking about shifts in focus that could change the way you prepare for this exam. From the number of questions to the topics that will be tested, the 2024 exam has evolved and so should you. Let's get right into it. First, the number of questions on the exam has increased. While the number of scored questions remains at 130, the total number of questions has jumped to 170. Why? Because there are now more unscored pilot questions. 40 in total, up from 30 in the 2020 exam. These questions are designed to test new material, so even though they won't count towards your score, they're a clear signal that the exam is continuously evolving to stay relevant. Now, you might be wondering, what does this mean for you? Imagine you're prepping for a marathon and the organizers decide to add a few more hills to the course. It's still the same distance, but those hills are going to test your endurance in new ways. That's what these extra pilot questions are. They're testing your ability to adapt to new challenges in the imaging informatics landscape. Next, let's talk about the content areas that have been reshuffled. Operations and system management are now getting more attention. Picture yourself in a hospital setting where the smooth operation of a PAC system is critical. More emphasis on these areas means the exam is asking you to demonstrate that you're not just a tech expert, but someone who can keep the whole system running seamlessly day in and day out. For example, let's say you were leading a project to replace a hospital's packs. This isn't just about plugging in new software. It's about ensuring it integrates with existing systems like the EMR and that it's accessible on mobile devices for doctors on the go. These real world scenarios are exactly what the updated system will test you on, making sure you are prepared to handle complex, multifaceted challenges. Another big change is in project management with a focus on risk mitigation. Imagine you're midway through a system migration and suddenly PAX goes down in the ER. What's your plan? The new exam content expects you to have one, phased rollouts, prioritizing critical departments and ensuring that downtime is minimized are all part of the skill set you'll need. Operations too are under the spotlight. Think about a scenario where radiologists start complaining about slower image retrieval times. You'll need to use problem solving tools like fishbone charts to figure out if it's a network issue or something else. This isn't just theory, it's the kind of real world problem you'll be expected to solve. Data analytics has also been updated. In today's hospitals, data is everywhere and your ability to analyze and present that data effectively is more important than ever. For instance, you might track KPIs like system uptime and use tools like bar charts and pivot tables to pinpoint areas needing improvement. These are practical skills that the updated exam will test you on. Vendor management has also seen some changes. Think about negotiating a contract with a PAX vendor. Every detail matters, from system uptime guarantees to penalties for missed deadlines. This new content exam will test your ability to manage these contracts effectively, ensuring that the systems you rely on perform as promised. We're also seeing new emphasis on enterprise imaging. With more departments like dermatology and wound care using visible light imaging, integrating these images into your PACs or VNA is now part of the job. This reflects the evolving nature of imaging informatics, where you need to manage and secure a broader range of image types. And let's not forget disaster recovery. Planning for the unexpected has never been more important. Whether it's ensuring data protection or having a failover system ready to go, the updated exam will test your readiness to handle worst case scenarios with minimal disruption to patient care. In summary, the March 2024 updates to the ABII CIIP exam content are not just incremental, they're significant shifts that reflect the growing complexity of the field. You need to be prepared not just to understand the technology, but also to apply it in real world settings that challenge your problem solving and management skills. If you're looking for a written breakdown of these changes, head over to our website, www.paxbootcamp.com. 
We've published an article that outlines all the updates complete with real world scenarios to help you understand what's new. Don't get caught off guard. Make sure you're studying the right material so you can ace the exam. Also be sure to check out the 2021 edition of the Practical Imaging Informatics book written by Sim. At PAX Bootcamp, We'll try to guide you as best we can, but it's up to you to make sure you use all the tools available to succeed. Links in the description below. For those of you who already purchased the premium IIP study guide, first of all, thank you. Second, if you liked the summarized bullet point study format, be sure to check out the 2024 extension course for free. It's included with your previous purchase and it's packed with all the information you'll need, including some quizzes. We've launched this course on our new learning platform, at courses.paxbootcamp.com. We are committed to providing you with the best possible service, hence the switch to an industry standard course platform. We're also going back to improve existing courses as well as adding additional where needed. To celebrate, here's a promo code to get you 10% off all purchases. Enter YouTube24 at checkout. Shoot us an email if you need help getting set up. Support at paxbootcamp.com. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future updates. And remember, staying informed is the first step to success. See you next time.